Okay, I'm back with another review. I just did a review on a Harbor Freight gun. Uh, this time around, I want to do a review on this uh, Grizzly LVLP with a 1.3 tip. For some reason, the 1.3 tip one comes with a plastic handle and the 1.5 comes with an all chrome body. I don't know why. It doesn't really matter. Um, unlike the Harbor Freight gun, if you watch that review, when you take this one out of the box, there's hardly any shaking of any parts. It's a good, nice, tight fit. It's got a real nice chrome finish. Um, $30, no, $39.95, I believe, is what I paid for this gun on Amazon. And I believe it's well worth the money. It, it is an entry-level gun. It's, you know, it's kind of a cheapy one. It's, it's made in China or Taiwan, something like that. But I think for the money, it's pretty good. In my opinion, it's loosely based. This is my Iwata loosely based off of the Iwata design. I don't know if you can really tell, but the air caps, the way they're cut, they're nearly identical. They look just about the same. The controls are the same on the body. Being that this is LVLP, um, Iwatas are typically a low volume gun to begin with. I, that's why I'm pretty sure they loosely based their design off of the Iwata system. Um, when you open the box, you get a little baggie with a wrench and little cleaning brushes and just your basic things. Uh, like I said, this one has a 1.3. This is an LVLP. Now, if you did watch the Harbor Freight review, this kind of has the same discrepancy. On the website, Grizzly Tools website, and in the instruction book, it says that the air consumption is 3 to 3.9 CFM. On the box, says 5.8 to 5 CFM. What's true? I don't know. Even if it is the higher CFM at five, five and a half to eight, if you have a smaller compressor, that's still a very manageable number. And if it is at the 3.9, I mean, you can get away with a pretty small compressor and not have to worry about running out of air. This gun, this is my first supposedly true LVLP gun. Um, it, sprays really soft, like how I've read LVLPs are supposed to spray. And I kind of like that, and especially for a beginner, it might be a lot easier to learn because some of those guns that really hog on the paint, I mean, you're gonna really, it's hard, it's hard to get a feel for it because you're gonna be running and dripping paint all over, or you could be. So what I did with this one is another toilet seat. Um, this is for a buddy of mine, he has a 92 vet, so he wanted this for his man cave bathroom. If you can see it, it's the Corvette logo. Now if you can see that this clear coat turned out a lot smoother than the clear coat I did with the Harbor Freight gun. This has a lot of like, not really orange peel, but kind of more like texture and like kind of flow to it. Even after I did a little bit of wet sanding on this. Um, I do really like this gun. For 40 bucks, if you're looking for a cheap gun, something you know like with low, uh, low overspray because it's LVLP and low CFM because it's LVLP, I would definitely look into this gun. It does not come with a regulator, so you have to buy a regulator. Um, it's nice. I would, I'd give it a shot. I think for the money, it's, it's well worth it. So look into it. It's Grizzly Tools, LVLP. Either 1.3 or 1.5, those are your only options. 1.5 is, in my opinion, a little bit big for doing your base coats and clear coats. I think uh, I like the 1.3. I even have a 1.2 in my DeVilda's Plus gun. So, thanks for watching.